Nein, mein. But it took me seven times. I will accomplish this somehow, one way or another. That's it. You've made it out of the hot zone. No sign of the enemy. Mission complete, boss. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> Yeah. I lost more than half the money for that one. Whatever. seeing any containers worth taking. I'm not in a mission. Should be right about here. There it is. back out. Okay, bad decision. I think I'll go around the long way. Why does that star seem like it's getting closer? Oh god, I thought it was helicopter. Oh, there are containers! Not that I need them.
I'm not arriving shortly. Really? Who's attacking? Land, motherfucker. At least I have money again, kinda. Really wish I had a uh, si quiet for that. I guess I don't have a choice in where I land. I didn't remember that. Okay, let's give this a try. So, six more than what I died last time so far. Let's see if I can actually look up. I don't want to actually watch it. Stupid ad. I guess I can't. Okay. This part came from Intel. The target is angle is moved. Okay, skipping this part. It's been a while. The oil runs to the pipeline from that facility. Taking it out should end the leak. The client this time is an environmental NGO. Destroy the facility. Stop that leak. This may seem like straight-up philanthropy, but there's another reason we agreed to it. The Mathinda oil field was outdated, abandoned. Then the rebel group United moved in, taking it upon themselves to kickstart operations. United's been rapidly modernizing its arsenal. Rumor has it someone's been selling them U.S. military hardware. Intel's 
analysis suggests the broker's a front company, Cyphers. Keeping tabs on United can tell us who's pulling its strings. Aw, oh, you're dropping me on the outskirts. This is annoying. Yeah, I gotta do it from this part of town. This is annoying. The village is currently occupied by Unida, so stay sharp. The war industry we started has taken a pretty crooked course these past nine years. With no other options, soldiers have become dogs of war, sent to conflict zones as private forces, or PFs. Guys we fought alongside are dying all around the globe for no reason. No banner. But it's how they survive. The demand for PFs here in Africa is especially high. Cold War standoffs, resource exploitation, tribal clashes. What's big business for developed countries has only brought conflict here. That mess you're standing in is just the latest example. Masa Village. It's been turned into a supply hub for Unida, meaning it'll be stocked with weapons and resources. Should be a thing or two that'll come in handy. Don't be shy. They deserve to be in better hands. 